Hello, I'm Pooja Sonkar from Kolkata and I'd like to thank NK Foundation for giving my work a silver award and for giving me this opportunity to talk about my work. Um, so my work is inspired by the works of Nandalal Bose, you know, uh, his Linukat illustrations for the Bengali grammar book uh, Shahaj Paat. Um, I really love the graphic quality, the black and white he used and how he created these really compact beautiful images. Very simple and uh, also from uh, Ganjifa Kals from Karnataka. Their structure, their graphic quality. I felt that both of these works were extremely unique and uh, they were great for a book based on uh, Indian mythology. So these are artworks which are based on the works of Nandalal Bose and the Ganjifa cards of, cards of South India. So the theme of my work is understanding the nature of reality uh, through the study of uh, history, mythology, and what is that eternal truth and what can we fundamentally express through art. I'm very proud of my Indian heritage and the fact that there's so much history, culture and art here. I mean, every region has something different to offer and I think it's, it's very important to stick to our roots but also find ways to make them modern and really relevant. Uh, to this technology savvy uh, uh, generation. During these tumultuous times in the world where there is so much religious conflict, it's so important for us to find something that unites us all because nature is something that unites us all. It's something we can all relate to. Is uh, Varun a common deity shared by both the Vedic Indians and also Iranians. So the interesting thing about him is that he is the god of the environment like the ocean and the sky and his role here is to met out punishments to people who commit sins and why is that? Because uh, this, there's a very important message here because the way we treat our environment is how we are going to be treated in the end because uh, right now it's so important to treat our environment well, to take care of nature and nature is always watching how we treat it. We are the ones who are going to suffer in the end. So it's a very important message for the youth. You can see uh, the works are really detailed because uh, they're meant as illustrations for a coffee table book in verse. And the point is to find something new to look at every time you read it. Something interesting, a new idea. So I'm going to talk about my first work, the one which was awarded uh, a silver. This is called Advaita, uh, the union of Shiva and Shakti. Um, so this one was selected by the judges and it's titled Advaita, which means all is one, uh, inspired by uh, uh, the Vedantic philosophy of oneness that everything is ultimately one, one consciousness and basically it celebrates the union of the masculine and fem feminine principle and how they are both equally important and as we know the triangle is a very stra stable structure, it is the most stable structure in uh, the universe and uh, two triangles together here they form this hexagon which again is a very uh, a very very strong structure and here you can see uh, I've kind of uh, infused all the different uh, elements of nature you have the Sun fire then you have earth and uh, water and air so basically uh, the Sun and air they are two very masculine principles which sort of help the feminine uh, principle to uh, flower and flourish and uh, th they keep they keep them rooted they keep them rooted and uh, the feminine principles of water and earth they are very important for nourishment and growth too and together only when they come together do we have the fruit 
the fruit of life the tree of life so uh, this is what i'm trying to celebrate you know we generally turn to science for uh, finding or talking about the truth what is the eternal truth what is the absolute but how about representing it through art through one little graphic through one little medium where we talk, can talk about the past present and future something which is which in principle will always always and forever remain so this is about celebrating the beauty of both the masculine and the feminine and how we can see this principle everywhere and everything it pervades everything from nature to how we act to what we do and how important it is to recognize how this all comes together to make this beautiful tree of life and life cannot go on unless we totally and completely respect both the contribution of both the masculine fe- principle and the feminine principle so that is what this work is about so like i said this is from a series called 33 deities and this is goddess bhudevi who is mother earth so she is one of the ashtavasus or the eight elemental gods who surround us and it's very important to always remember her contributions and to celebrate her presence in our lives so yes this is a celebration of nature this is another one of the elemental gods apaha who represents the virtue of water everything that makes water important to us its ability to soothe and nourish so this one here is titled apaharan or the kidnap of apaha uh, so here vritra a demon has kidnapped uh, uh, apaha the goddess of water and the whole world is suffering and all the kings rise to fight to get her back and the moral of the story here again is don't under uh, underestimate the feminine principle don't underestimate someone just because they're soft or small nature is very important and while we are fighting again amongst ourselves it is we are losing out on life we our future generations are going to lose out on the beauty of nature so this again is another elemental god agni the god of fire who setting fire to the dandaka forest in order to make a palace for um uh, the pandavas now the theme here is that in order to make something new you have to destroy something old but it's up to us what we choose to destroy not everything needs to be destroyed and not everything new needs to be made so here indra is fighting against agni and it's a very important theme today what are we destroying and what are we making so uh, this is the story of chandra or the moon god and his 27 wives who are the 27 constellations and it is a story of jealousy and ownership and how their jealousy almost led to the death of their husband because he spent too much time with his wife rohini and all his other wives were very jealous i have not drawn all the 27 wives but as you can see they are all very upset with him spending too much time with rohini this one here is called the sun's bounty and uh, celebrates the contribution of surya dev the sun god to creating the beauty of life and as you can see black really works well here black and white together they work as a visual binary in summary uh, it's about finding a common thread which connects us all rather than dividing us on the basis of religion nationality and everything else and secondly going back to the past and trying to figure out what is it what is the eternal truth what is the reality and how can we represent it through art